When I developed the first drone, I was just doing it for fun. It was another way to, you know, to get time wasted, basically. It's my Legos for gr grown-ups. So my name is Jory Munoz. I was around seven or eight that I, I walk into the radio shack and they have a compact presario, you know this. The latest model over there, like in the middle of the store. And I, I just felt like attracted to it. And I just run and start, you know, you know typing and stroking the, the, the keys. But I just wanted to, you know, know more about it. So later on, like two years later, or two years later is when I got my first computer when I was around 10. And my life totally changed. My father had this weird hobby. Uh, to come here to the swap meets in San Diego and Chula Vista in San Isidro and buy all electronics, especially medical devices that were old. And he loved just to, to take it home, you know, open apart, you know, rip them apart basically and try to repair them. Somehow I also got, you know, caught into that kind of stuff. So everything that he wasn't able to fix, he just transferred to me and I just, you know, grabbed the electronics, the components, and tried to figure out how they work, LED, stuff like that. So it was like a combination of, you know, events that leads to, to me liking engineering, computer, and then uh, eventually software. As soon as you put it out there in the market, available to anybody, is when you start seeing these crazy applications that I would never imagine in my life. So this is the typical case of a new tool that you give access to the masses and they start doing crazy, crazy applications to them. So we were obviously impressed and we're still getting impressed every day because one morning you wake up and then you go to YouTube and you have an email saying, hey, watch this video. And there's a guy, I don't know, in, in Russia or in, in Japan doing, I don't know, you know, carrying his ski to take it to school or something like that. You say, wow. So it is, it's a very interesting, you know, feel and every day I, I get amazed with applications. I mentioned we, we didn't expect too much success in the market and too much demand and um, but it's the same as cars you can drive a car 200 miles per hour if you want and you can smash into something and you can totally destroy it at least you know drones are a little, a little bit safer and it's just a matter of time until the right regulations you know are implemented to be able to have a you know some control and responsibility from uh, from the users uh, Obviously, at the beginning, we didn't care about, you know, FAA and anything about regulations, but now, after the, the success and the demand and, you know, all the applications, we're looking into it and we try to, you know, be close as possible as we can to the law. And, I mean, we're always in, in the right side of the law and, um, and obviously try to, um, try to educate users what is the best way to use them and not to abuse this product. The advantage of, you know, multi rotors is uh, you can hover you can hover you can uh, you know vertically take off and land and, um, and so you can fly anywhere basically in a small parking lot you need a big field to land so it's more flexible and that's why it's very popular we are trying to make drones cheaper easier to use smarter and more powerful so we're working basically into new products that are capable to handle that. Right now it's too complex. I can say it's too complex, too many devices, too many components, and we're trying to simplify. Always, always, uh, uh, the most beautiful things in the world are very simple.